Hi YouTube viewers and my joint you friends. In this, in this video we will going to see addition, subtraction and multiplication of two numbers. So let us open our Turbo C++ software. So already I have saved with a file name called addition.c. Just we will be writing the code. The always program start with void main. The spelling void main. So void is the written type. Just I am taking two integers values. So int is a keyword. So int is a keyword for integers. So I am two, taking two values. A and B are variables. So B equals to 2. Those are numbers. A and B are numbers. A and B are variables and 3 and 2 are numbers. So to store that, just I am declaring some uh, variables called sum to store the sum value, subtract to store the subtract uh, subtracted value, mul to store the multiplied value. So just I am printing it off those numbers. So printf is a keyword which is used to print those print any string or how we will be using now we will be saying the two numbers are. Two numbers are percentile D, uh, comma percentile D. Percentile D and percentile D are used because so I want to print two numbers. So D is nothing but data, the decimal value. So D is nothing but your decimal value. So the A and B are like in decimal format. So I am placing that A, percentile D and percentile D. So A, comma B are two decimal values. So I have printed it. I have printed the two values. Now let us perform the operation. Before performing the operation, I should clear my screen. So I am writing CLR SCR is a keyword to clear the screen. So now sum is equals to A plus B. Subtraction is equals to SUB is nothing but A minus B and your multiplied value mul is equals to a multiplied by b so now to print the results let us add one line here backslash n that is nothing but your new line this thing represents the new line this thing represents new line now let us print the values print f this sum value the sum value is equals to percentile d backslash n nothing but new line the sub Fraction value is equals to percentile D is again black slash and new line. The multiplied value is equals to percentile D again, and just that's it. First is nothing but sum, next was subtraction and next was your multiplication. Now write get ch, it is a keyword to get a character from your keyboard. So cursor will be waiting up to up until which we enter a character from our keyboard. In our keyboard every everything is a character, everything in our keyboard represents a character. Okay. Oh no. Let us save it by pressing F2. S. Just compile it. Control F9. Compile and execute. Um, 
the cursor is waiting let us say s yes. to compile it control f alt f9 we we have zero errors as zero warnings control f9 to execute it the two numbers are 3 and 2 okay the sum value is 5 the subtracted value is 1 the multiplied value is 6 we didn't got a space between is equals to and then 6 and we got a space between the starting starting if you see there is a space so let us see and remodify it again okay just uh, here we have given the space so we got that and we have not provided space here so we didn't got just save it f2 now alt f9 compile it we have zero warnings and zero errors just control f9 now we got an exit out so sum sum is equals to pi subtraction value is 1 and multiplied value is 6 so this is the simple program where you can see a and b are two numbers which is sum and placed in sum and subtracted and placed in subtract multiplied and placed in subtract always the evaluation is done from right hand side to left hand side from right side to left side so percentile d is used so here also percentile d is used to print the numbers percentile d is nothing but to thing but decimal it represent decimal the first if you see the first decimal it takes this value this character a character and if you see the second one after comma what is the character is present that character it takes thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts in this please comment below